Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat, and welcome back to an insane video talking about Thanos returning into Fortnite. Wow, this is some amazing news, and some news which I cannot wait to go over for you guys. Also, some kind of sad news on the side of this, which I'm kind of a little bit interested in. We're going to go over it. You can see the background gameplay. We're going to be running into the Marvel LTM, the Endgame LTM, which was out a while ago now. We're going to be playing that throughout today's video. It's really fun. I do get Thanos in it as well. You guys will love it. But we want to go over everything about Thanos. He's coming into Fortnite. How can you get him for free? What is going on with him? Can you play as him again with the Infinity Gauntlet and how is this all going to work? So a lot of questions are going around in the community right now and I'm sure many of you think a lot of things but haven't really read into it 100%. Don't forget guys, tap the subscribe if you haven't already and pop in code postboxpat to your item shop. That's P-O-S-T-B-O-X-P-A-T. It takes less than five seconds to enter in and it really does go a long way. So thank you everyone considering to support me. Honestly, supporting smaller creators really helps out. So let's jump into this and go over what we have with Thanos. So Thanos himself is is officially confirmed to return to Fortnite, but there's a little bit of a twist on it. You can see on Epic Games blog here, it said Thanos is coming. Get him first in the Thanos Cup. Mm, seems exciting at first. He is inevitable. Pretty cool. It's been three years since his LTM debut inside of Fortnite, which would have been the original LTM in Season 4, which I do have footage of as well, but I think this footage in the background is more entertaining just because the graphics are a little bit better. Back then, the graphics weren't as good when I was recording stuff. Also, Thanos arrives in the item shop for the first time ever so this is confirmed beginning on 8 p.m on 26th of june 2021 you can play in as the mad titan himself even equipping the infinity gauntlet bat bling inspired by marvel studios avengers even equipping the infinity gauntlet bat bling inspired by marvel studio avengers endgame complete with all six infinity stones hear me out with that again equipping the bat bling the infinity gauntlet hold on a minute are we not getting it back as a mythic? I don't think we are right here. So then we move down a little bit here. Fortnite Thanos outfit and Infinity Gauntlet inspired by Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame. There's the picture, the 21st of June. And then we get details about the Thanos Cup. No details about the Infinity Gauntlet returning as a weapon or a mythic. So let's just read into the Thanos Cup. Maybe that has the mythic inside of it. Let's have a little look. Thanos Cup. Before Thanos arrives in the item shop, players will have the opportunity to get his outfit and bat bling inspired by Marvel, obviously on the 21st of June in the Thanos Cup. So that's a five day period before. Grab your duo partner and compete in up to 10 total matches in three hours where you earn points, as many as you can obviously. The top performing team in each region will earn the Thanos outfit and bat bling inspired by Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame. For anyone who earns eight total points, you'll receive the Thanos Watches spray. No, it may take several days. So. I'm guessing the Thanos watches several sprays, the one in the picture on the left side. I would highly recommend everyone doing the cup so they can get the Thanos watches spray for free. Eight points is very easy to get. You've also got to be above level 30 and have 2FA on for this cup to work overall. Now, let's jump into this and kind of get an overview of this cup because I know a lot of you are asking questions. How does this cup work? You're probably wondering, Pat. All right, so we're jumping into the nitty gritty stuff on the rule side of stuff so you can get an overview of what's going on. And so far, I've been reading through it, and it seems to just be a normal duo cup. There doesn't seem to be any Infinity Gauntlet, anything special about it. I'm looking through it. I can't see anything about it, really. Event game mode, a specific rule set, set of gameplay elements or win conditions for a given match. Game modes can, be, can vary and are very broad. Just doesn't really explain much about it there. The match, nothing really there. Just a single victory royale placement session. I don't see anything about this LTM. I'm reading through the rules right now. I'll leave the background gameplay on though. All I see is it will take like place on the 21st of June. The format for the cup here. For each Thanos Cup match, all players eligible on a duo's team must have an the open league division rank 1, 2 or 3 or higher within arena in their respective server region. By the start of such match to be eligible to be queued in and compete during this event. It's a three hour window and there's nothing about the Infinity Gauntlet coming back as a special LTM. Oh god, this is not good. <laughs> Here's another one of them complaints. Every single one of these skins, guys, that we get is this again. The same LTM every time. Normal duos, normal squads normal solos in competitive situations 
please, Epic Games, stop doing this. <laughs> like, honestly, it's driving me up the wall because you don't compete in these because you just don't get anything from it. Let's just give an overview of the placement points right here. So here's the placement points for this, for anyone wondering. So, obviously, if you're a good player, you're going to want to be getting them victory royales. Placement's quite key on this cup. The higher placement you get, the better you're going to do. You've definitely got more chance for just playing for placement in this cup than you have. And if you're just after generally the spray, which... 99% of you watching this video, maybe even 99.9% .9 of you watching this video will not win the skin. I can guarantee you that unless you're a pro player because that's the way these cups work. I know so many of you guys that spend so much time competing in these cups, you never win. That's facts. I've spoke to so many people. Unless you're a pro player or playing with a pro player as your duo partner, you've got no chance. Because here's an overview of the prizes. In EU, there are 3,375 duos that will win this battling. That is guaranteed to be the majority, at least a 1,000 pros in EU, and the other players are borderline pro. You ain't winning it. Same in NA East. You got 1,500. There's definitely that many pros in NA East. NA West, 600. You got no chance in that region. Brazil, 1,050. Maybe, I don't know that many Brazilian pros, but again, there could be easily 1,050 sweats. Asia, 375, no chance. Oceania, 225, no chance. Middle East, no chance. So, wow. Obviously, only eight points for the spray, though. Simply just play one game, back out, and don't play the rest of the tournament. Unless they do enable the Infinity Gauntlet. But so far, I've not seen anything about it in these rule set. And it does drive me up the wall. Every single cup we've had in Fortnite over the last two years now, up to... Maybe, no, not two years, sorry, two, three seasons, all the way back to the Marvel Season 4 stuff. And the Laser Beam Cup was the last one we got with a uni LTM. For casual players, this is horrendous. This is so bad for casual players because, one, we don't get our UFOs, we don't get our alien weapons, we don't get our IO guards, we don't get any of our animals because they've all been disabled in competitive mode. You know, we go on this and we simply are playing Fortnite, like originally how it's meant to be played with no meme strats we've got limited mats the pros have got siphon we've got no chance we li you literally have to be a competitive player to earn this skin and i personally think Fortnite have got to stop doing this it really doesn't balance out for everyone you know i say this in every single video that i make on this and i will continue to say this until fortnite realize let's make it a little bit easier let's make it the normal pubs Let's make it a little bit easier for casuals. Really increase placement points over eliminations. Or just have it so we remove building. Do something crazy with the LTM, like they did with the Laser Beam LTM, like they did with the Lackey Cup, like they did with the Graf G Cup. They missed one out, sadly, for Loser Fruit, and I wish they did one for her. But for them three, they had three amazing LTMs, which were all so fun. Pickaxe only, balloons only, with throwable items. Laser Beam one, with the Flintlock, which was just insane. Everyone was flying over the map. Them three cups? I loved Marvel knockout cups again anyone had a chance in them because you only had to be good with the mythics there was not much building you just had to be a decent player I did well in it I didn't win any of the skins because I never had like a amazing duo partner in them but when I played with Littlewood in the cup against some really good players much better than me we did really well we won around four thousand dollars so you know sometimes you've just got to think to yourself this is a possibility that they could do this, but they don't. So there's my rant over. Please do address this to other people and other creators. Honestly, it's a joke that they keep doing normal duos and solos for for casuals. It's kind of just giving or feeding pros the skins. I know I always complain about this, but I feel like when it's such a big skin like this, Thanos, so many people are going to be competing in that mode. And you're going to do really well at the start. But as the end starts to come, like you get closer and closer to the end, you start doing a lot worse because you get put with better players. For example, the recent solo cup with the football stuff I played in, I got 75 points in the first game. That's because everyone in the first game is their first game. The majority of them are going to be less skilled than me, the same ability as me, and only like one or two who are better than me. And they did eliminate me at the end. But then I go into my next game, 90% of the players are better than me. If I do, if I perform well in that, then I go into the next game, where 99.9% .9 of the players are better than me. And I get stuck at around 150 points. Happens every single cup. That isn't enough to win the skin. Simple as, please Epic, do something unique. Allow the pros to adapt for these cups rather than just feeding them skins that they'll never use. So that's my overview and my rant done. Honestly, guys, please do address this to other creators and even just tweet Fortnite the idea because it really does need adjusting. 
I really have had enough of these like constant solos and duos. Now, fair enough if they do enable the Infinity Gauntlet on this mode, which I think would be daft not to. But I'm generally almost 100% certain they're not enabling the Infinity Gauntlet on this mode. So, thank you so much, guys. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.